But these Walmart shirts got me looking not too bad. But then again, they say the color black hides body fat. Whatever. I feel bad. Yesterday I wasn't able to get a video up and I had every intention of trying to get a video uploaded to share with you guys. But let's be honest, it would have been a flip house video. And I know that there's a few people, a lot of people who probably don't like those type of videos. I got to tell you, I'm trying to get this house wrapped up. If I'm able to film it and share it with those who do enjoy those type of videos, well, I'm happy to be able to do that because again, I got to get that house wrapped up. Speaking of things going on over there, yesterday I would build a door casing that I was super proud of. I'll be sharing that with you guys upcoming. It might not sound like much, but it was quite a big deal. You'll see the video in the near future. Today we got finishing up on paint taking place over there as well as the electrical. The electrician is over there right now and he is mad because he had to get up underneath that house and it was muddy up underneath of there. We're going to have to figure out something about that, but that's his own damn fault. It had been beautiful for the last week and a half. I told him we had bad weather and rain coming, but they didn't, they didn't care. Anyways, enough about all of that. Joe's just rambling on. I want to address some comments. I want to do a comment response video. And this is definitely a mixed comment response video, good comments, bad comments. But I grabbed a couple of comments that I felt like would add some good conversation to the mix of things. And I hope that this is a video you guys enjoy. I hope I'm able to put this together in a really good way. As I begin this, let's just go ahead and get into this right now. One thing that I want to address, one comment that I want to address, I don't have a particular comment. There's been hundreds of this particular comment over the course of the last couple of years, as a matter of fact. But I want to go ahead and address the elephant in the room, the views on the channel or the video views and the underlying thing that sometimes people comment on. And that is, you know, this channel is dead. Is this channel dead? I guess ultimately it's dead when I stop making videos. And I guess, you know, probably there's people who would love to see me do nothing short of that. Stop making videos. If it was based upon the views that you get, yes, absolutely. You're correct in saying that. But again, I've been doing this for so long that this is just what I do. I'm so used to doing this. Like, I don't want to stop. I know that there's a couple thousand people who still enjoy watching these videos, and I'm grateful for that. When will I stop? Will I stop? What will it be that will make me stop? I'm sure it'll be something, and I'm sure that it will happen. But for the time being, I'm still content sharing what I'm sharing with you guys. I'm not looking for, I don't know what I'm looking for. I guess I'm looking for what's next in my life. It's kind of deep to start this video off with. All right, let's go ahead and jump into these comments. Starting with this first one right here from some random person. No, for real, this person's username is random person. Uh, this is off of the last video that I had just done about the SOs in prison and about VCBR. And this person said the VCBR prison is down the road from where I live. That's kind of crazy to think about. And even more crazy, I live in the town over and pass by this place all the time. Several people have escaped from this location and have even ended up in our backyard. Did you do anything about that? Could you have done anything about that and gotten away with it? Probably. That would be crazy. What were they doing? Were they playing with the swing sets? Oh, oh, that tastes sour right there. It truly does. Uh, interesting information that you share with us right there, random person. And I don't know. I mean, that's almost like a, a free pass for the green light. If you ask me, I wanted to share this comment for not only that particular thing, like these dudes are breaking out and escaping from this place and ending up in your backyard, but also for the fact that the story that I shared about the shadow prisoner getting stabbed 14 times, you got to ask yourself, like how much other shit has really taken place at this place? How crazy and often is the violence or like random person says, the escapes. Shout out to you, random person. Thank you for sharing that information with us. This next comment comes to us from somebody named Political Muscle. I thought that it was somebody else who had a muscle name as well and that they changed their name. Not the case at all. This person is definitely very political. But they did leave an interesting comment on a video that we did years ago. It was the Austin story, getting assaulted in prison, a very crazy story. 
If you guys remember that, Austin served a year in prison for a vehicular manslaughter charge. He was drunk behind the wheel. He was facing seven years. Instead of seven years, he got one year. And people thought, oh my God, he killed somebody and he only got a year. Well, what happened to him in prison involving six other dudes? Very horrible situation all the way around for the victim that lost their life and also for what happened to Austin, who also contracted HIV from that. I want to share something that I've never told you before. As I think about it, like weighing the pros and cons real quickly in my mind, should I say this, should I not? What else has Joe not told us about? Here we go. When we did the Austin video, I was on probation at the time and I left the state unannounced, unbeknownst to my probation to go do this Austin video. Now, Cody was with me at the time. This was a seven hour ride to get down to South Carolina where we went to to do this interview. I think it was, yeah, it was South Carolina. We had no idea where we were going to do this interview at. So we ended up at some random park where there were boats and a lot of noise and it was hot as hell. The cameras were overheating. Like this was just a really crazy situation. When we got there, Austin didn't even show up. And in fact, he was almost ready to bail on us. Like he was very flaky and I don't say that to diss this dude or nothing. He just probably didn't trust us or our intentions at all. But we finally were able to convince him to meet with us like, hey, look, Austin, I just risked a probation violation to come do this video. Please come meet with us. So he would. Joe was wearing the shortest of shorts. And um, it would be this political muscle who would comment on that video just recently saying, why is dude standing over this dude like he finna touch him. Finna. F-I-N-N-A. Could you use that in a sentence, please? I'm finna. I'm finna. I don't know what you finna do, but I'm gonna tell you what I'm finna. Finna. Like, what is the proper enunciation of that? Why is dude standing over this dude like he is going to, going to touch him? You know, still very novice in terms of doing interviews. So I, I, I didn't really understand how things can look. And me standing up versus him sitting down, it does kind of look like I'm standing over him, not like I'm finna touch him. Maybe it appears that way, but neither here nor there. I risked a violation to go do this. Never shared that with you guys before, but again, weighing the pros and the cons, I realized something that I would learn way later was. By this point, I was already on shadow track, I believe, where I only had to call in like on my once a month. You had to call in. You just pressed one or two. Have you consumed any illegal narcotics in the last 24 hours? One for yes, two for no. I always wondered what would happen if you hit one for yes, but I never did. I didn't have the I didn't have the guts enough to do that. And what I'm saying is while on shadow track, I ended up learning that it wasn't a violation. That wasn't the only time that I did that. I went to Reno and crossed state lines and went to California to a ski resort. Didn't go skiing, but we just went and checked it out. I was freaking out because they track and monitor your phone like you're an SO or something, even though I don't think they're really even allowed to have phones. And it's not like I was breaking the law or thinking that I was breaking the law in an effort to be like some kind of a bad dude or commit crime. I was doing this because we were going to do an interview that was really powerful. What I would learn was you could leave the state while on shadow track probation. You didn't have to tell nobody so long as you were back that same day. And I think so long as it was for work. So here I was thinking that I was risking a violation but I wasn't. Uh, political muscle, your comment has been noted. Motivated for truth. Joe, you don't get enough of this. You're a piece of, boy, I'm about to go in on you. Say the wrong thing. LOL, JK. Listen, man, just kidding. Li boy, thank you. Thank you for clearing that up. Because sometimes I don't know. Are you kidding? Are you for real when you're saying these things? And then Joe just claps back. And then I'm the bad guy. Oh, Joe, I've been a fan for 40 years. You're gonna talk about me like that? I don't know if you're kidding or not. Listen, man, seriously, you don't get enough praise for your changes. You used to be so uptight and angry <laughs> and you still do have a tiny amount of that in there. But man, you've done a great job and you've come a long way in terms of personally or personality. Probably just means personally. Basically night and day from two years ago with Terry, and even better since that tattoo gun. I don't know what he means about the Terry situation. Just want to say, good job. Keep it up. 
We all have work to do personally, but you are really the inspiration. Motivated for truth, I truly appreciate your, your comment right there, your opinion. And that's exactly what that is because some people will have the opinion that I haven't changed at all or if I have changed, I've just changed for the worse. Now don't get me wrong. I feel like, and this is just me, my opinion, I feel like I've worn thin of like the BS. So sometimes I am quick to react and respond when I probably just shouldn't. I've been banned and put in Facebook jail more times than I can count. What is Facebook jail really like? I'll be telling you some prison stories from there coming in the near future. If you want to see that, please leave a like on this video or a dislike. Totally your opinion and I'll respect it. I could sit here and try to justify it a million types of ways. Well, you don't know what it's like to really try to work. You know, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. I've definitely had my own issues and I've tried to grow as a person. I've probably stumbled quite a bit with that, but I've always tried to take something from pretty much every situation. What could I have done different? What should I do different moving forward? Motivated for truth. I appreciate your comment. Thank you for it. Okay, I'm probably going to butcher this name right here. Chilean gringo. Hey there, Joe. I was curious what other crimes will gang members get punished in prison apart from snitching. I heard of a gang member and still keeps his patch, which sickens me. I ain't no gang member, so I can't honest, I can't answer this from like an insider's perspective or anything like that. Plus that probably would be snitching. But from the time that I've served and things that I've seen of gang members getting violated, which is I think what it means like when a gang member goes on like gang member Judge Judy and they got to have like a little trial powwow and figure out what the repercussions, what the discipline's going to be when they misbehave or break one of their gang rules. But other things that I've seen and, you know, in terms of what you're talking about right there, I, I honestly just don't know. Uh, different strokes for different folks, I guess. You know, if you're supposed to put in some work, if you get sent on a task and you don't live up to the expectation, you don't upheed, wait, you don't do what you're supposed to do, there could be consequences behind that. Uh, you get in a fight and you lose, there could be consequences behind that. Uh, those two things right there, I definitely saw happen in terms of, you know, discipline being handed out, being a gang member. Met 1117 commented on the last video that I did about the SOs and about VCBR. I guess this is in relation to something I asked at the end of that video. Do you feel like, you know, these people can be rehabilitated? I said, personally, I don't really think that they can be. Well, this person would comment and say, you mean only people like you can be rehabilitated? Yes. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm... Am I rehabilitated? I guess, or maybe I'm just, I just haven't gotten in trouble in a long time. But trouble could happen at any time. And I mean, it could be as simple as something like speeding. I drive like 80 plus everywhere that I go, the speed limit's 55. Uh, a reckless, I think, is 15 over. And I think for a reckless driving, you can get arrested. I'm pretty sure you can. I still worry about getting locked up. Maybe not as much as I should, but I do know that the only separation that I have between the time that I've served and the amount of time that I've been out here free is that, well, I think a lot better. I definitely weigh out my options. And even though I drive crazy, I do try to pay attention when I'm driving. I mean, I might text and film while going that, I'm kidding. I, I usually don't when I'm in a hurry to get somewhere. But in terms of your comment, do I feel like only people like me can be rehabilitated? Well, I guess the best way to answer that is I don't believe that people with the bad, bad, type of charges can ever fully be rehabilitated because I do believe that it's a way of thinking. Whatever the case, I don't even know what rehabilitated really even means, you know, because there's so many different levels to that. And I'm being serious about this. You know, a drug addiction, you got to have that sobriety first. That's the first step that you got to have toward the rehabilitation. But then again, you could be a drug addict. I'm talking about getting high every single day and still avoid going to prison. You got a higher likelihood of going back because you might, you just might, you might go steal something, you might get caught with the drugs, whatever it may be. Might violate your probation some kind of a way if you've got that. But if you're clean 
and then you're working and you're legitimate and you've got things to lose that kind of weigh heavier in terms of what type of a risk are you willing to take, I think that that plays heavily into rehabilitation. But in terms of an average Joe with drug charges or theft charges, whatever you might have, and the separation that you have from that last time incarcerated till whenever or whatever comes after that, I think has a lot to do with just ultimately making the right decisions, but also luck. I think luck plays a part in that too, because you could be very unlucky and end up in the wrong place at the right time. Sorry if I got philosophical right there, but that's the best way that I can answer your question. I am nobody special, okay? Let me be the first to say that. Ramsey Schaefer says, why does it sound like Joe was being held at gunpoint? This was in response to a video, the many different types of prisoners on the first day of prison. I gotta watch a little bit of this to understand what you're talking about. Damn, I'm getting Fortnite ads. I can't even skip this. And with the fact that jail and prison is sort of like a bus terminal and you're going to see all different kinds, there's going to be quite a few that we're going to be talking about in this video first coming into that jail or prison now. Okay, I think the best that I could take from that is, is I'm not like over the top with it. And sometimes I, I am super over the top with the filming. Sometimes I'll throw my back out filming a video or I'll lose my voice filming a video because I'll be screaming so much. Sometimes also when I'm filming videos, I'm having a bad day. I'm dealing with a migraine. I film many of videos on many occasions with a splitting migraine. Um, so maybe it was just an off day for me or maybe I just wasn't up to being on 1000 with the antics. That's the right word. And again, going back to what I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, trying to learn. You know, I go back and I look at the old videos that I've done of After Prison Show and sometimes I'm like, I cringe. I'm like, man, why did I talk like that? Why did I try to talk like I was some kind of like a game show host? What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and in this video, we're gonna be doing some prison cooking. We got 10 ramen noodles sitting in front of us right now, so that could only mean one thing. I really don't like that. I don't, and you know what I think that it is? I'm gonna be honest with you. It was me trying so hard and this is the truth. Me trying so hard to separate the prison talk. Hey, yo, you know, I'm finna go to the, like trying so hard to separate that. Like I could only go from one extreme to another. It was acting is what it was when my voice talking the way that I was. I share that with you because again, going back and looking at some of these older videos and some of these are really, really good videos. I think to myself, what if I remade some of the classics here on After Prison Show? What if I remastered them? I'm really thinking about doing that. But Ramsey. I was not being held at gunpoint. Thank you for your comment, however. Phase Ghost Face. Yo, your channel is cool. Phase Ghost Face, thank you. That really means a lot. I really appreciate the kind words. And I just wanted to take a moment and just say thank you for your opinion, your positive opinion. It really means a lot to me. DMAC740. Joe's Home Improvement is what this channel should be called. I don't know why it puts this... It puts this guy so mighty. That's a burn right there. He's not even a man. He's an it. I don't know why it puts this on his. Oh, he did say his there. It must have been a typo. His prison channel. I've been saying this for the five plus years that I've been doing this channel. It is after. 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 Prison show. You know, I did try to start another channel just recently. Joe does ASMR. And I just don't have the time. You know, I'm helping Booker with his channel. I'm doing the flip houses. And I have to maintain after prison show. Like, it is, it's impossible for me to, and then there's the Bobo. It's impossible for me to try to do a totally different channel. I like the ASMR. Um, ASMR is a super oversaturated thing. I would see that because I listen to it still every night before I go to bed. I'm also kind of pissed off because there was a dude who just recently tried to do some prison ASMR. Makes me mad when people copy me and that's exactly what they did. They copied me. I'm the only one who had ever done that. They probably did it way better than me as well. But regardless, back to your comment, DMAC. Uh, in terms of the home improvements, it is what it is. If you don't like it, don't watch it. There's a million other people out there just like me, who cuss like me, who probably don't give a uh, like me. 
Don't know where I was going with that. But Joe, there's other stuff on YouTube. Go watch something else. There's the, the History Channel's got a YouTube channel. Go watch that. Okay? I like, and it's crazy to say this, but I like going out there and working. I do. And I like to share that with you guys. And so what if it goes wrong sometimes or a lot of the times? You know what? At least I'm out there trying to do it. I don't know if there was a comment that I was, was there? There was a comment. I'm going to save this other thought for this other comment. Let's go ahead and move on. DMAC, regardless if I don't like your opinion, and not even from this comment, there were other ones that were worse than this one. In response to your comment, the home improvement on the prison channel, it's after prison show. Simple as that. Victor, haven't been on this channel for a while. I come back and Joe is fat. Touche. Definitely put on the pounds. And many different times I've tried to get them off of me. Currently, right now, I'm back to trying to get the sodas up out of my life and the chips up out of my life and eating more salads. And I'm feeling better doing that. I've been doing that for a couple of days now. Um, but still not smoking. Been five, six months since I quit smoking. That was October the 8th, I believe, is when I quit smoking. And it's hard. You know, sometimes I want to go back to smoking just so I'll get slimmer. But then I got to worry about cancer. Probably still got to worry about that. But you're right, I am fat. And I'm always trying to do something about it. Not always, but periodically is a better way to put it. Final comment for this video comes from a dude named Paul. Paul don't like me for what I, I don't care. Uh, Paul would just comment saying you're a clown. I laugh and joke about a lot of things and I definitely play the clown role, I guess. As much as I don't like what you're saying, it is what it is. And just like with the other comment from DMAC, it is what it is. You guys are entitled to your opinions. And who am I to really say anything in rebuttal against that? I put my life on the internet, for God's sakes. And what do you expect is going to happen when you do that? However, in response to your comment, Paul, I was just having a conversation with Booker yesterday. And I said, you know, and Booker's a very smart guy. He's, he do, he's doing a lot of things. He's got a lot of business things. He's got a lot of moving parts. And man, Booker is a mover and shaker for real. So we were talking about some video ideas and maybe Booker sharing information on how to do rooming houses is a video idea that we're probably going to film today, as a matter of fact. And I said, you know what, Booker, I think, I think that's a great idea. It was, it was his idea. I said, I think it's a great idea. Because people will listen to what you have to say. They know that you're successful. So they're going to listen to what you have to say. And you can definitely provide good information. I said, I don't know where I went so wrong at. I'm sure there's a million reasons and a million areas where this happened at. But I don't know where I went so wrong at to where I'm like this, this idiot, right? Like I'm just this super dumb dude. I make a lot of mistakes. And I always say that I make a lot of mistakes. And it always goes wrong with a contractor or a person or a this or a that or a business. And even when it does, you know, one thing that I want you guys to keep in mind is, yo, I share these things with you guys as raw and as real and as gritty as it is. But don't ever think like these things that I've tried to do have failed. I've quit at them, yes. I haven't had time for them, yes. Cleaning business was successful. Moving company was starting to bud. Moped rental was a horrendous idea. Flip houses. I'm going to see a profit off of this house, hopefully. Part of me sharing, and I share it with you, is real. hey, look, I quit. I'm done. I ain't got time for the cleaning business no more. Or I let the Yelp reviews of the moving company, you know, dictate me continuing to try with that. I share these things with you guys because, you know, I got to believe somebody gets something from this. If nothing more than an idea, hey, maybe I can go do something like that. So regardless, I will wrap this up by saying, you know, I respect everybody's opinion. Is my channel dead? To a lot of people, it is. We definitely have a lot less people who watch this channel now. Maybe it's because a lot of people do think that I'm a clown. Or maybe they're just tired of hearing me talk and, you know, there's new blood. And shout out to the new blood. I wish them nothing but success. Where in the past, I probably wouldn't have. I'd been mad at them for copying me. Just like this prison ASMR video I just saw that it is what it is. I have learned. A lot. Man, this whole video just comes full circle here at the end. I have learned a lot. And a major thing that I have learned is you have just got to keep it moving forward, no matter what it is. And don't be so affected by the little shit, by the naysayers or the negative comments or whatever. Something that I'm still trying to learn to do, to not clap back or to respond. Just this morning, I posted a picture of some work that I did at the flip house and the dude said that it looked like shit. I said, so does your mom, but why though? <laughs> you know, I should like, and that's not right. 
I shouldn't waste so much energy on that. I'll wrap this up with a final thought like Jerry Springer. I got to do this. I just got done watching this uh, Netflix documentary about Mormonology and some counterfeiting that was taking place. Man, banging Netflix documentary. Definitely check it out. But there was a dude who would end up getting done super wrong in this. He would get done dirty. And by the time it was all said and done, he carried like this grudge for the longest time. Every day he would think about this thing that just went wrong that was done to him by somebody else and he would uh, not sleep because of this situation and he finally one day just woke up and decided that he was going to forgive the person in this situation. And he said from that moment on he was able to move on with his life. I don't necessarily need to be, you know, forgiving. I, I don't feel like I got too much forgiving I need to be doing, but that really spoke to me. Yo, when you hold on to all the wrong things, that shit festers, manifest, and man, it would just drag you down. So something that I will continue to work on and something that I hope that, you know, maybe you're already practicing in your own life, you know, don't hold on to the negativity so much. Just let it go. You can't change what people are gonna think or say about you. Joe talking like a talk show host again. Focus on what you want for yourself, for your family, for those around you, what you can offer positively to the world. Focus on those things. Hey, look, that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did so, please leave a like and a comment on this. Let me know exactly what you thought about this. And who knows, maybe your comment will end up in our next comment response video. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. Peace!